Okay, so the first letter of the Arabic alphabet is Elif. Now, Elif sounds like this. Uh, uh, and it looks like this. Now, Elif, if it's in the beginning of the word, it has to have something called a Hamzame, which goes on top of the Elif, which is a different letter, which we'll see in a different clip. In the middle and the end of the word, it always looks like this. Now, because the elif is a special letter, called a Mehdi letter, that particular letter doesn't have a Fatha, Kasra or Dhamma on it at all, unless it has a Hamza on it. So, all you need to know now is this is elif, and it sounds like this, a, and it's the first letter of the Arabic alphabet. Okay, so the next letter we're going to go through is the Hamza. Now, this is very important because we're going to be referring to the Hamza and we're also going to be referring to the vowel signs throughout this whole series so it's a very important thing for you to know what these things actually mean now the Hamza is actually a letter, it looks like this um, now this is how it looks by itself and it pre is pronounced like this ep. it's quite similar to the glottal stop now it's, it emanates from the uh, the lowest part of the throat, so you say it like this, eh. Now, if I was to put the Hamza on an elif, which is, as we said, the only way you can represent an elif in the beginning of a word, it would look like this. So, if you were ever to see an elif uh, in the beginning of a word, it would have to look like this, or through one other representation, which we'll go through in another series. Now, the vowel signs which we'll be going through in this series are three. One of them is called a fatha. Now, a fatha makes the following sound if it's pronounced with a hamza. Ah. So, this is a hamza, as we said, and this is a fatha. Now, the fatha, as we say, or as we said, one more time makes the following noise, following sound, ah. The second vowel sign, which you have to know in order to follow this series and also to understand Arabic language, is the Kesra. Now the Kesra looks like this. So it goes underneath the letter, in this case the Hamza, so it sounds like this. E. One more time. It sounds like this. E. Now the last of the three major vowel signs is the Dhamma. Now the Dhamma sounds like it looks like this. And it sounds like this. Ooh. So you have three major vowel signs, the Fatha, the Kasra, and the Dhamma. Just remember those names and remember the symbolic how it's symbolized with the letter, because we'll be referring to it over and over again in this series. Now there's one more thing which can be said to be a vowel sign, which is called the Sukun. Now all this is, is basically uh, a silence, it represents silence. So to put it on the Hamza, we have a, one Hamza and another Hamza, so it would be eh. Eh. Now this Sukun here, which is a small circular sign, is actually one of the uh, vowel signs, which again has a very, well, has a silent quality produces a silence in the letter that you're trying to pronounce. So remember these names, take you know track of those names, and because in this series we'll be referring to them over and over again. Uh, and this is really the most complicated of the videos that we'll do, so don't worry and feel discouraged if you don't understand everything we've said. You'll get it more when you look at all of the other letters, and you should be able to, by the end of this series, understand fully what the Arabic letters look like and how they are represented with all of these vowel signs elaborated upon in this video.